today's Church TechCast screencast show, simplifying your life with clear cues in ProPresenter 5. Hi everyone and welcome again to another ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I go through uh, some software that's helpful to your church. We've been on a series lately where we've been doing a lot of ProPresenter 5 and I think eventually I'll run out of ideas on stuff to do and then we'll shift to Photoshop or maybe some video editing, something like that. But right now, this is really... Um, something that's uh, very helpful to a lot of churches. In fact, this is one of my most downloaded video shows. So if you have any questions, comments, etc., head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact. Hit me up on Twitter, Paul, Allen Cliff. Or you can always leave your questions or comments below the video, whether that's on uh, trinitydigitalmedia.com or YouTube. Either way, fine, perfectly fine. So let's um, start talking a little bit about this, uh, what's going on over here in ProPresenter 5. So here we are in ProPresenter 5, and you'll notice um, what I've actually got going is I've got a loop going, and you'll notice that I have a countdown now. Kind of hard to see what's going on in the countdown. I actually thought that I had this set a little bit better, so I had to really rush and create something kind of eh, iffy. So probably what I would actually do is create a PNG in Photoshop where I had a nice gradient. I was surprised to find that I I can't change the opacity of this in ProPresenter 5. At least I couldn't find it in the couple minutes I had a chance to play with it. So I've created this black bar that has the countdown and there might be a good reason to do something like that where occasionally you've got white underneath it and uh, this countdown kind of is difficult to see and so kind of a bit of a pain. So you'll see that we've got this here and when this countdown reaches zero it'll just say the next service begins at zero and it'll stop but it'll still be there and that's kind of a little annoying so you might be thinking well how do I clear that well no problem you go up here into messages and you click hide and that goes away and then in in that next second you want to start the next song and do like just uh, click on that next song and start that up and there you go that's how you man wouldn't it be great if there was a way to do that in one click as opposed to a bazillion clicks I mean you know that would really be valuable if you could what if I show you how to do that what do you say okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the loop and we're going to go uh, and we're going to show that message again starting the loop so again here we are before service and we're going to do this now the very next thing that we need to do is we need to go in here and first off I'm going to get rid of this because I no longer need it I have another way to clear it out. So I'm going to right click and there is a add clear action cue. So that gives me a few different options. I can clear all which is what I want to do in this case. And this happens at the beginning of the slide. So clear all, clear the background, clear the audio, 
clear the props or clear the live video. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all. And that should show up here as an X. Now we can't actually see that very well, but it, I think, yeah, you can see kind of a corner of this black X right here. So as soon as I click on this, what I expect to happen is all this will clear away and this blue background along with the song will show up. And look, there it did it. So that's helpful in that situation, but occasionally you have something like you want to have a uh, fade to black. So let's here, where did I put? I think I put it in the message notes. I think that's where I put this video. Okay, so in the message notes, let me slide this blank slide right here. So in the message notes, ah, uh, here, let me clear that. Okay, so in the message notes, I have this video that I showed you earlier in a previous lesson, and that is set uh, down here in the video image bin. You can't actually see it. Uh, let me drag it up just to show you. Okay, so it's set to stop, but what would really be great is if it could stop and then immediately fade to black. So what I want us to do is here again on this next slide we're going to right click and add the clear action cue. You can't see me doing it but trust me I'm going to add a clear all. And so again that gives me a uh, black X in the upper right hand corner. I might want to, in case there was a background here or in case there was a prop here, I might want to do the same here. So that should clear everything and you can see that black X actually in this situation. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a go to next timer. Let's see here. Go to next timer. And I'm going to set that for zero because if you'll recall, in a video, a foreground video, the go to next timer is how long after the end of the foreground video until the uh, video, once it stops, until it goes to the next element. So I add a one second or a zero second delay and it should immediately go to the next uh, item. So here let me click OK. Let me click OK and now I'll start playing this video. Now the downside so you see it fades to black right there at the end. So For some reason, this isn't playing the way that I would intend that it's going to play with the foreground playing until the end. But you see how it just fades to black at the end. So here, imagine that it's playing and it fades to black. So that's a good way to do that. So you can imagine that there's a situation where at your church you don't want a background anymore or you don't want a foreground anymore whatever the thing is you can set a go to next timer and then go into a blank slide earlier I've shown you how to create a black slide well you don't even need to do that anymore you can just create this blank slide and it's always a good practice to save so I'm going to click command S Again, I'm on a Mac, so it might be a little different on a PC. Just to save all of this and make sure that it's good to go. So really, the possibilities are endless. You can imagine that, let's say you're in one song and it's got this background. 
and then you go to another song and you don't want any background on this so let's really quickly uh, remove that and right now what's happening is here let me save that right now as soon as I go to this next song it just clears out the foreground because this isn't a black background this is a transparent background because it's that's just all all there is there so what I can do is I can right click on it add a clear action cue of in this case let's just do background um, and let's do a quick edit of this slide just to put some text on there so you can see that I'm just getting rid of the background next song title here let's say that's the title of this song and that's the way you do it here at your church is you don't start with a blank uh, slide you start with the title slide so again we are in a mighty fortress is our God and we're gonna here let me clear this go to next timer and we're going through the song we're going through the song we're going through the song last line of the song and we're getting ready to go to the next song and the next song we want to have no background whatsoever for this first slide for sure so we can just click on this right here and that clears the background while putting up the foreground text so that is a pretty nifty feature there that we can clear some things and not others and we can remove that clear background cue down there by right clicking and we can um, again add this action and this would work for background audio props live video etc so you could have a situation where you want to clear the audio from from a certain slide when it reaches that slide so let's say you're in a loop and there's audio playing in the background and when it gets to this slide you want it to clear that audio so right click and clear action cue audio so when it goes to this slide you'll notice there's a speaker with an X beside it it will clear the audio so that might be a good way to have kind of a playlist it will still be tied to the slides so you would probably want to have several lists of slides but have that happen pretty quickly and easily so you can do a lot with this little trick and it'll really simplify your life and make it easier for you and your church to go out and change eternity the church techcast.com screencast show is generously provided by viewers like you. Head over to patreon.com slash Paul Island Cliff. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Paul P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N Allen Cliff C-L-I-F and support the show. Every bit helps me change lives and eternities. So why don't you partner with me in doing just that? Till next time. This is Paul Allen Clifford with Trinity Digital Media dot com.